Apple announced the new MacBook Pro with the new set of M4 chips and I gotta say this thing is looking incredible. Now don't think that you need to go ahead and upgrade because it's the new MacBook Pro with the M4 chip. We'll talk about that for a little bit and we'll also talk about some of the cool things they announced on this new MacBook. If you're new here my name is Ray. Let's talk MacBook Pro. If you have been keeping up with Apple then you know they also released an M4 version for the iMac and the Mac Mini which your boy already did a video about so if you haven't seen that one go check it out and come back in here let me know what you guys think. And right away we have to talk about the star of the show which is the m4 chip the m4 has a 10 core cpu with four performance cores and six efficiency cores and then we also have a 10 core gpu with better ray tracing which is honestly pretty exciting and in good old apple way we have graphs showing how much this thing has improved since the m1 chip just know apple does put an emphasis on comparing the newest chips to the m1 chip these numbers are based on the m4 14 inch macbook pro and right away we can see that it's 1.8 times faster than the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and 1.3 times faster than the M3 14 inch MacBook Pro. Now, keep in mind that this graph is based on image processing in Affinity Photo, so I don't know if this might change depending on the software that you're using on the computer. Going by that graph, these are significant improvements, especially when you look at the M1, but when you compare it to the M3, even the M2, it's nothing crazy. So, if you have an M3 MacBook Pro or even an M2, there's probably no need for you to upgrade. But I can tell you not to. If you want to upgrade, go ahead. And if you're planning on doing, leave two black hearts in the comments and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Now, something they mentioned that I really like a lot is the fact that now we have three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is something that we didn't have before. And now you're able to extend it to up to two high resolution displays, which is incredible. But now, if you're thinking about doing more intensive tasks and you just want more power overall, they did announce MacBook Pros with the M4 Pro chip. The M4 Pro chip has a 14 core CPU with 10 performance cores and four efficiency cores. And then we got a 20 core GPU, which is twice as fast as the M4. Then we got a graph provided by Apple, which is based on 3D visualization with Cinema 4D, and this is the numbers that we're getting. So based on Cinema 4D, and this graph is based on the MacBook Pro 16-inch, the M4 Pro is actually three times faster than the M1 Pro on the 16-inch MacBook Pro, and then 1.3 times faster than the M3 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is actually pretty crazy. Well, crazy when you compare it to the M1, which is actually a significant change, but when you look at the M3 and even the M2, to the change is not as crazy but it's still somewhat significant so if you're someone that's looking to do something super intensive like data modeling a lot of coding and things like that then the M Pro is definitely something you might want to take a look at another thing Apple went over a lot and they're actually putting a big emphasis on is Apple intelligence not just on the MacBook Pros but also on the iMac and the new Mac mini as well now when it comes to Apple intelligence I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about it in this video let me know down in the comments if you want to see one but one of the most useful tools tools that I see people will be using a lot, including myself, is writing tools, which you are able to access pretty much anywhere that you're able to type. Apple gave a really good example where they implemented Image Playground, which allows you to create images based on a prompt. In the example, Apple shows someone using writing tools, then they pivot to Image Playground to grab an image that they created before and put it on the report. It actually looks really cool. You're also going to be able to use writing tools to proofread, make summaries, and make your writing better overall. So this one will be super useful. Image Playground is just something that people are going to be using more to have fun in my opinion. Something else they talk about which is actually impressive is the M4 Max chip. The M4 Max has a 16 core CPU with 12 performing cores and 4 efficiency cores and a whopping 40 core GPU. The numbers that you get with the M4 Max are actually kind of crazy. Let me hit you with the graph that shows the CPU performance as well. So when it comes to CPU performance, the M4 Max is actually 2.2 times faster than the M1 Max and 1.2 times faster than the M3 Max. And to top it off, the M4 Max is actually 2.5 times faster than the latest AIPC chip. And in order to get this data, they actually did testing on the MSI Prestige 13 AI Plus Evo. So there you go. And when it comes to the GPU performance, the M4 Max is actually 1.9 times faster than the M1 Max and 1.2 times faster than the M3, which is actually super significant if you look at the M1 Max, but then nothing too crazy when you look at the M3 Max. And to top it off, when it comes to the GPU performance, the M4 Max is actually four times faster than the latest AI PC chip, which is actually crazy. And they use the MSI Prestige 13 AI Plus Evo to get this data. So when it comes to power, the M4 Max actually has it all. I mean, you can 
do things like actually denoising a footage live in DaVinci Resolve, which requires a lot of power, actually pretty impressive. We also get this view, which we saw on the iMac video as well, which is this feature that gives you this sort of top down shot. If you want to show something on your desk or you're doing something with your hands and you want to show it on camera, it's super convenient. And other really nice cool features that you should know about the MacBook Pro is the fact that we also get the same nano texture display that you can see on the iMac, which helps with reflections and glare. You got to pay extra for it. So that's something to know. And that's pretty much a good summary of the new M4 MacBook Pro. I mean, there's three ships. This computer is a complete powerhouse, new features, more variety. It's a lot of good things to look for. So there you have it, the M4 MacBook Pro. So let me know what you guys think about it. If you watch all the way towards the end, you are incredible. And there's a new video coming in about the Mac mini. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Hope you have a nice day. See you later in another video. Peace out.